My final question, Mayor, is about the efficiency dividend. In the State Government's Budget Paper No. 2, Volume 1, page 9, uh, it provides advice on the removal of all remaining efficiency dividend requirements for the State Government. And it goes on to say this is an, or the, the general manager has said that this is an acknowledgement of the requirement for an appropriately resourced public service sector as part of the state economic recovery. Um, similar considerations regarding council's efficiency dividend will need to be made by council when setting the next budget. Um, and I looked at the state government budget papers. They say in March 2020, in response to COVID, the government announced a range of measures to support Tasmanians. This included the removal of all remaining agency efficiency dividend requirements from 2020 to 2021 onwards uh, to support the ongoing delivery of services and to support the Tasmanian economy. So my first question, Mayor, is do you agree with the reasoning provided in the government's budget that the removal of efficiency dividends will support the ongoing delivery of services and support the local economy to recover from COVID? Uh, is that to, to you, I guess, Mayor, yeah? Um, well, I haven't, look, I might take it on notice because I haven't read the report that you're referring to. Um, and so, yeah, I think I'll take it on notice, thanks. Okay, that's all right. A couple more potentially for, for on notice, maybe. Um, so this is the state government budget, basically. Um, do you intend, Mayor, in the light of this state government decision to remove efficiency dividends, do you intend to continue with an efficiency dividend for Kingborough in the next financial year? Councillor Court, as you know, I, I don't uh, make decisions about efficiency dividends. We all do collectively, so 10 of us do. Um, so I, I wouldn't make any decision about an efficiency dividend because it would be up to this chamber, and in fact we've already made a decision on efficiency dividends, and in fact we've had a report back saying that the work is a, a, essentially completed, though I may be uh, unless so I'm happy to be corrected, but uh, the efficiency dividend um, report was provided to us in December, um, outline $380,000 worth of uh, efficiency dividends. Um, as I mentioned in the debate, I, I think it's debatable whether or not some of them were efficiency dividends, um, but the, the attempt was there from our staff to ensure that our, um, the underlying loss for this financial year was minimised as much as possible. Thank you, Mayor. Um, could you then, if possible, in, in your part of your response on notice on this issue, um, I guess, elucidate whether or not you plan to follow the state government's lead and abolish the efficiency dividend for Kimber Council, or at least um, advocate for that um, in light of the state government's budget decisions? Well, as I, as I just told you, um, or I hope I explained, I don't make decisions about efficiency dividends, and you're aware of that. Um, we all do. And in fact, collectively, we made a decision about an efficiency dividend that we put in place, the report's been come back to us that has completed the efficiency dividend work. Um, and so any decision that I would make around an efficiency dividend for this year or for any subsequent years would be collectively in open session with my fellow councillors um, and we'll be doing that as part of our budget workshop um, that we'll be doing in March and then uh, making the final decision in May in our budget meeting. But I wouldn't expect to see any change to the efficiency dividend policy that we've got in place for this financial year. Thank you. And will your deliberations be informed by the state government by the state government's budget removing efficiency dividends? I don't have any deliberations, Councillor Cordova, because I'm part of this council that makes decisions. I don't have any executive powers whatsoever um, as under the Act. I'm a uh, mere councillor when, when it comes to making decisions, so um, I, don't, I don't know how I could possibly answer your question any better than that. Okay, thank you. Councillor Bastone. 